Hey, John. Good morning. Can you hear me? Hopefully. Can yeah, you okay, hear good. Me? Yeah, I couldn't hear you for a while, but I don't know if it was my end or your end, so something weird was going on. But hello. Yeah. Welcome to Zoom. All right. Hey, Mike. Hey. Do, do, do. Can we bring you a copy? Hey, Heinz. Hello. How you doing? Uh, not too bad. Kind of enjoying the fact that now everybody's doing what I've been doing for 25 plus years, which is work from at home. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. Ah, I actually you, enjoy it and prefer it. Yeah, as long as your job can allow for it, which is, I think it's really cool how many people nowadays actually have a job that allows for it. I mean, obviously it's not a majority of the people, but it's enough that it's interesting. It, exactly. Yep. And a lot of the times in my earlier career, the work was actually at the client site. So what do you need to have an office for when you're never there anyway, right? Yeah, true. All right, Ryan, are you there? Yes, hello. Hello. Hey, Tommy. Hey. So Mike, unless I missed it, it didn't look like you had a chance to address any of the concerns in your PR. That's why I moved it to the end. Is that, am I right about that? Um, I have like, four comments left to go and then I can I can maybe get an update push before we get there. Okay, that's fine. I just, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything because I didn't, I didn't think it was quite ready yet. So. No, sorry, I'm, I'm, I got pulled into a special project. Uh, yep. So I am not really working on this full time. Yep, not, not a problem. Just want to make sure I didn't miss it. <clears throat> hey, Mark. Hey, Doug. Hey, we're going to need a password on this thing at some point. I don't know. Uh, it hasn't prompted me for one. I did. I did think it's interesting that um, they require a password now just for you know the free tier. Yeah, I thought they were they were going to enforce it for all meetings, but hmm. Hey, I got on with that one. Yeah, me too. And um, that that's a good point, though. Um, maybe I'll try to remember before next week's call to. To try it like on Wednesday or something to make sure a password doesn't automatically pop up because uh, if, if it requires one, I don't have one <laughs> and I'm not a host. So we'll have to see. I'll have to ping, uh, I guess, Amy. Hey, Ginger. Ginger, you there? Hello, people. Yes, I am. Oh, hey, Ginger. Technology finally kicked in. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, who else did I miss? Done, done, done. Hey, Scott. And R I P E N A A R. I can't remember the first name <clears throat> R stands for. Roland. Roland. Okay. Thank you. We we just call him R I. Okay. <laughs> He's with Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> <That's... laughs> yep. All right. Ray, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello. Hello. Francesco. Slinky, you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. How about Vladimir? Vladimir, are you there? What about Lance? Yep, I'm here. Hello. Hi. All right. So Scott, I asked you last weekend, but uh, last time on last week's call, but unfortunately I was actually on mute. I was asking you, are you doing any new uh, exciting wood, wood shop type projects? Scott, 
I lose you? Sorry, I stepped away for a second. What, yeah. what was that? I was just wondering if you if you worked on anything new in the wood shop. Oh, um, well, I am rebuilding the wood shop right now. Oh. Um, and by me, I mean I, I'm paying a bunch of people to build a big, bigger building. So <laughs> the okay. only thing I've been doing is uh, hanging pieces of uh, plywood for walling so that I can have uh, high speed projectiles and not destroy my house. That would be good. Cool. All right, let's see. Uh, Vin uh, Vinay, are you there? Vinay? Yes, I am. Hi, Doug. Hello. What about Jeff? Yep, I'm here. All right, and Vladimir, are you there yet? Vladimir's in hiding. All right, one more minute, then we'll get started. Oh, hey, Vladimir, I got you, and thank you for the notification about Jem. Christoph. Hi. Hello. There was somebody I was going to ping. Oh, Eric. Hey, Eric. Good morning. Are you raising your hand just to get my attention? Just trying to help. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. Ricardo, are you there? Hello. Hello. Is this your first time on the call? Uh, actually, it's the second time. Second time, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm from Red Hat. I'm with Jiho. Jiho I don't know if he's on the call or not. Okay, cool. I just want to get, get on the attendance. Thank you. All right. Three after. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, let me sure I get her than me. All right, let's do this thing. All right, uh, community time. Is there anything from the community people would like to bring up that is not on the agenda? All right, moving forward then. Um, so Mark and I presented the SIG proposal to the TOC this week, I believe it was on Tuesday. And not unexpected, they had a lot of questions about our relationship with some of the other SIGs. In particular, I believe this time more of the focus was on SIG app delivery than SIG runtime. And so what we decided to do is to try to set up a meeting, uh, hopefully for tomorrow, if we can get everybody on board, um, to have a discussion with the SIG app delivery folks to see if we can crisp up the, the, the separation between the two SIGs. Um, I don't I don't think we're going to have any problem. I think it's just finding the right wording more than anything else. Because uh, I do think most people agree that we probably need some sort of SIG to handle what I would sort of call these oddball projects like cloud events and things like that that don't really fit into an existing SIG. Um, but maybe serverless isn't the right word or just need to find the right wording or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you guys uh, up to date in terms of how that goes. If it requires any significant changes to the, uh, to the charter, uh, we'll raise it up so you guys can take a look at it to make sure you guys are still okay with it. But aside from that, I don't, I don't think anything's unexpected in terms of the questions we got. Uh, Mark, anything you want to add to that? No, um, <clears throat> I think I think you summed that up, and we just need to work through figuring out how we fit with all the other SIGs. Yeah, just might take a little time. All right, moving forward. Oh, oh are there any questions about that? All right, moving forward then. Um, no SDK called this week. So we had one last week, I think. Can anybody think of anything worth mentioning um, that might be of interest to the group at large? Okay, not hearing any, moving on. I don't see anybody from this workflow subgroup to give a status there. I don't, I, I do kind of watch their PRs and stuff. I haven't noticed anything too exciting go flying by worthy of mentioning, so we can probably move forward then. All right into the PRs for our stuff. Cla Kafka clarifications. Um, Francesco, you were going to implement this just to make sure it worked from a coding perspective. And I noticed you added a comment in here that you did that, I think. But did everything work okay when you actually did that? Where was that? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, there are some, I think, small needs like uh, uh, the name of the partition key it doesn't respect the, the attribute naming convention, so, but small things. Okay, because um, I know Clement, Clement. Generally it works. 
Okay, good. Yeah, because Clemens had, a, I, I think, just hasn't had time to update this, the PR itself. Now, your comment there about the attribute name not matching, is that mentioned somewhere in one of these comments, or is that something that you need to bring up with him? Sorry? Well, you mentioned there was a, there was a mismatch, right, between the attribute name? Oh, yeah, uh, no, here the, there isn't any uh, mismatch anymore. I mean, now it's really clear that when you, uh, it, it clearly states uh, what is a Kafka key and what is the partition key. So okay. now, now it's fine. Okay, good. Okay, so it sounds like what we're really waiting for is just Clemens to do what I consider really small editorial type changes and then it should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Um, Okay, so Vinay, I think you made some updates to this, and I think they're just minor wording, wordsmith changes type thing. Yeah, uh, like I said, uh, you know, I wanted to use that opportunity to go through and read all the docs and, you know, provided some uh, edits uh, where it made sense. Yep. Now, I know you made a couple little edits last night just to address the comments in there. I don't think anything was significant, so not, I don't feel uncomfortable asking for people to approve the PR. The one thing I did want to draw people's attention to was this, this sentence at the very end right here. And I'll give you, let me expand this a little so you can see the whole paragraph. Just this to be clear sentence. I think it's right, um, but this is the only one that jumped out at me as, as maybe not just strictly a typographical type of change. I want to make sure everybody agrees with that new sentence there. So I'll give you guys a chance just to read that. And keep in mind, this is the primer, so it's not, it's not normative, but we do want it to be accurate. Okay. Does anybody have any questions or concerns with this PR? Okay, any objection to approving? Excellent, thank you everybody. All right, now on to some stuff that is not ready to be merged, but I want to draw people's attention to it. So, Francesco, do you want to bring people up to date on this one that you just opened up today? Uh, yeah, so uh, if you're interested in HP multi-part content mode, uh, uh, there is a big uh, wall of text uh, to read. <laughs> so I've merged the, uh, the two ideas of having multi-part structure and multi-part binary in a single multi-part envelope. And I've also created an experimental implementation uh, explaining how it works and how it fit inside our SDK. So yeah, feel free to uh, to provide any comments. And I've also added a little, um, uh, so some to do at the end of the, um, of the PR explaining what in my opinion we should do. Like for example, the first thing is, should this content mode deliver another sub spec together with the batching? Which I think it's one of the most important questions here. Okay, any questions, comments? None? Okay, let me, let me go ahead and raise one. Um, I believe it might've been Mike last week raised this, or maybe it was Ryan, I, th I think it was Mike though, was asking uh, about the relationship of this versus HTTP2, I think, and why we're not just using that or something along those lines. So I have, am yeah, I remembering so that right, Mike? I yes. report. Yeah, Mike, so I replied in the other uh, PR. In the 592, I think. 592, okay. Okay, yeah, so I guess you take a look at that and see if that addresses your concerns. Okay. All right, thank you, Ryan, for volunteering to take a look at it. Anybody have any other questions, comments? Okay, if not, then please take a look at it when you get a chance and uh, and you vote on it next week if there are no questions or comments on it or concerns. All right. Thank you, Francisco. Um, so we don't have a whole lot left on the agenda. Now, GraphQL, I don't, I didn't notice. Mike, were there any comments left on this one since last week? Uh, I, don't so. I don't feel like I got any emails about it, so. Yeah. And I know, unfortunately, Clemens isn't on the call because I know he had some strong opinions about this. Um, how would you guys like to proceed on this? Um, 
I, I don't think we had unanimous agreement last week on which way to go. Is it, does this the kind of thing that needs to sit there for a little while for people to think about it more? Do we need to do, take some action to force a decision? Like for example, you know, PR is always good for forcing decisions. But I wouldn't want to make someone do a PR if we know it's going to get rejected. <laughs> no, I mean, right. we, we, should, we should decide, decide what we want. Like I, I um, unfortunately, like Jam is also not here, right? He's the person who suggested this in the first place, so it'd be good to... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pointing the finger, I love it. Have some advocate for it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it matters much either, either way. I don't think that um, from an implementation standpoint, one one is harder than the other. From a consumption standpoint, um, I think GraphQL is actually nicer to consume uh, in terms of like the way it provides field masking and things like that. So you can you can get just the subset of the data that you actually care about. All right, well, Ryan, your hands up. You want to say something? Yeah, I, I kind of feel like there are some fundamental questions that still need to be answered in the other PR that might affect how this works. Um, that might be important to focus on that first, from my perspective. And when you say the other PR, you mean uh, Mike's other PR? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't get the sense that we're necessarily in a rush to, to make a decision on this. So if you, guys, if you think that, you know, Addressing that other PR first and then tackling this one is the right way to go. That sounds so, reasonable to yeah. me. So, so totally, like we should, we should make sure that the, the shape of the API and the objects in the API and the way they relate to each other is what we want. And then we can decide how we want to present it. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Okay. Any objection then to sort of putting this one on hold until we at least get the, uh, the shape of the data model right? That's fine. All right. No, okay. Thanks, Mike. Uh, no objection from anybody else. We shall make it so. All right. Um, in that case, last item on the agenda, Mike, you're up again. You want to just bring us quickly up to speed on this, where this one is? Uh, I'm down to two comments left to address. So I'll have a, I'll have a, an update. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'll, there's a couple of comments that will remain open uh, for discussion. Um, let me see if I can highlight those real quick. Um, one is about the kind of cardinality on the um, uh, producer entity. So there's a question, yeah, so it's right, right there, Doug, you're perfect. Uh, <laughs> can there be more than one producer for a given provider and type? Um, so my answer to that was no, that that is the composite key. Uh, provider name and type name. I think this is something worth worth discussing. Um, okay. I'm trying to paste this back a, to my memory. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, a, sorry, this, this is like really a weedsy thing right here. Like if you're not deep in the in the API design. I, I think there, there's another discussion around just being a bit more clear about what a producer and a provider is. Um, so I think to a lot of folks that wasn't wasn't clear and, and it's hard to answer this question without answering that other question first. Yeah, where was that? Um, it's further down. Maybe. Right. Oh, there he is. Not just sure it's me. Right. right. Yeah. So this is this is a um, difference between producer and provider. So I was using um, in the in the very first draft. I was using producer. Um, uh, throughout, but since that actually has a well-defined definition in the cloud events spec, it couldn't be repurposed. So that's where the, the concept of provider comes from. Um, if you go back to the, um, you know, the, the word, the, the, the Google doc where we were originally talking about this, this alludes to that concept of discovery funnel that I had, had talked about. Um, we're thinking about how a like a UX would look around this of um, having like a giant list of the event types available in the system isn't probably super useful, but as a consumer uh, of events, being able to select in by by essentially product name um, is where the the concept of uh, provider comes from.
And, it, and I, I would love a different name that isn't so close to each other. <laughs> yeah, that, that, honestly, that, that, I think that's the thing that tripped me up the most is just the, the they both start with P-R, right? Or P-R-O, actually. And yeah. that, I, just, I just kept mixing the two up in my head as I was reading it. And I'm obviously not smart enough to keep them separate. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense. I think it's just uh, my, my comment there, um, like the definition, we do define that term, but it's not defined. It's, it's, it's a bit too generic. Um, and it uses the term to define itself. <laughs> um, so if we just be a bit, a bit more clear there, I think that would help. Okay. And if anybody has a suggestion for a different name. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to think about that too. Okay, so, I, um, so hopefully an updated uh, commit will come in soon. People can review it. <clears throat> Any other questions or comments for Mike? Okay. Please do review it when you get a chance. Obviously, this is very important. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mike, go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a, I should have an update push, you know, within 15 minutes of the call ending. <laughs> no hurry. Thank you, though. Okay. Um, that's it for the agenda, unless someone can think of something that I forgot to add to the agenda. Are there any other topics people want to bring up? Wow, short call. Okay, in that case, we'll just quickly do the attendance, last, last chance for the attendance thing. Um, Klaus, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Excellent, Dustin? Hey, I'm here. Hello, Nick. Nick, you there? Yes, I am here. Excellent. Normal? Yep, I'm here. Excellent. Do we, are, this, is this your first time on? Uh, no, I have attended, I think, three weeks ago. Uh, okay. As well. Okay, do me a favor, uh, just in case I don't have it, if you want to be associated with a company, can you just either add your company name to the end of your name here or in the Zoom chat, and I'll, I'll pick it up. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Kathy? Yes. Hey, Kathy. Falco? Yes, I'm here. Sorry for being late. No, no, no problem. Doug, the other Doug. I'm here. Excellent. Okay. All right, did I miss anybody for the attendance? All right. In that case, I believe we're done early. Excellent. Thanks you. Thank you, everybody. We'll talk again next week. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Bye. Oh, thanks, Doug. Bye. 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 Bye.